Hi, this is Brian Turo from the MSOE Perfusion Program with another video in my series for new perfusion students. Today we will be covering how to properly set up and operate the Medtronic Autolog Cell Saver. From the supply wall we will need to gather five different disposables. We will need the reservoir, wash kit, table pack, filter, and a three liter bag of saline. Now that we have gathered the needed disposables, we need to properly document the lot numbers. We will do this by removing the stickers with the lot numbers on them from the reservoir and the table pack and putting them onto the label with the wash kit. Now that that is done, we will write down the lot number from the filter. We will also write down our initials, the perfusionist that we're with, the number of the cell saver, which is on the back of the machine, and the date. The final label should look like this. We will begin setting up the cell saver with the reservoir. We'll take it out of its pack, making sure to check for any loose caps as we take it out of there take off this piece of tubing on the side which is held on by a piece of tape and this tubing is actually tapered there's a narrow end and a wider end we're going to take the cap off the wider end the cap off the bottom of the reservoir put that tubing onto the reservoir and put it into the holder on the side of the cell saver with the blue and white caps facing outward Next, we will open up the wash kit and we'll save this label for later use. We will then take out the waste bag, set the rest aside, and we will hang the waste bag on the right hand side of the machine. But before we do that, we want to make sure that this valve at the bottom of the bag is completely closed. Otherwise, we could get waste all over the floor. So open up these tabs and hang it on the hangers on the side of the cell saver. Next, we can carefully remove the rest of the contents of the wash kit. We can take the collection bag and hang it from the hanger on the top of the cell saver and remove these lines, kind of keeping them coiled. And you just want to kind of keep these organized. I like to just hang them off of this knob. Next, we're going to insert the wash bowl into this chamber on top of the cell saver. But before we do that, we want to note these four pins on the sides of this chamber, which correspond to some slots on the side of the wash bowl. So we will take out the wash bowl and insert it into this chamber with the line with the yellow cap facing towards the right of the machine. We'll find those slots push it down and give it a clockwise turn until it clicks, just like that. Then we will attach the line coming from the wash bowl with the yellow cap to the top of the waste bag. The next part is the trickiest part of the setup. We want to find this fitting that has one line with a red stripe on it coming from the wash bowl and three lines coming out the back. We want to open up this lever and insert that fitting with the flat portion of the back of this fitting resting against this surface. Now that we have this fitting fully seated, we want to align these three tubes with the corresponding slots on the back and we can close that lever. Next we want to find this tool, some people call it the pizza cutter tool, and we're going to use this to seat this tubing into this slot. So we just take it, we want to keep that red stripe facing up and just use that to press it down. 
Next, we want to note this fitting on this tubing with the red line. We're going to open up this lever, insert the tubing into there, again keeping the red line on the tubing facing up, stretch it a little bit, and then seat that fitting in the back of a slot here. We can close that lever and rotate this wheel a few times to make sure it's fully seated. Now we're looking at the back of the machine. These are those three lines coming off of that fitting. The top line goes to the collection bag. The middle line has two quick prime lines on it. We want to close both of these dura clamps. This is where the three liter wash bag will be connected once the cell saver is actually used. And then the bottom line has a blue cap on it. We will remove that and attach it to the line with a corresponding blue cap at the bottom of the reservoir. Looking at the top of the machine where we've hung the collection bag, we want to put on the blood filter. So we're going to open up that package, remove that filter, and we're going to take off the cap with the long, thin side, remove one of the red caps from one of the side ports, and put in that filter. We also want to close the dura clamps going to the filter and then the opposite side, making sure that we leave the dura clamp coming up from the collection bowl open and also the dura clamp on that line. We also want to give this connection a quick tightening as you may have been able to tell there it was actually a little bit loose. So we want to make sure that that's tight so that doesn't come undone. Next you want to find this short piece of quarter inch tubing with the two white caps on the ends from your pump pack. You're going to remove one cap from one side, the yellow cap from this side of the reservoir, put that on, and then just leave the rest of it with this cap still on it on top of the cell saver. Lastly, we're going to take our three liter saline bag, set it on top. I'm going to cover the cell saver with a gown, try to keep it sterile. We're going to grab our table pack, set it on top, and we're going to take that label from the wash kit, poke a little hole in the top with a pen, and hang it so that the next perfusionist has this information available to them. This cell saver is now set up and ready to be used. Before we start using the cell saver, we must first spike some wash solution. At St. Luke's we use one 3 liter bag of saline, at Freighter they use two 1 liter bags of saline. Next, we can turn on the machine and also the cell saver's own vacuum if necessary. Otherwise, we can hook up a separate vacuum line to make it quieter. Push the green button to prime the cell saver. Now, hook up the blue suction line to the blue or white cap on the reservoir. Then, spike the heparin bag with the quick prime line. Let the heparin solution run freely and pick up the reservoir rotating it to fully coat the filter. Once approximately 200 milliliters of heparin solution has run into the reservoir, slow the drip to approximately one drip per second. The cell saver will automatically process fluid as it reaches a certain volume.
Once the cell saver has finished washing and processing a bowl, red blood cells will move up into the collection bag. If at any time you receive an error that says air in saline line, it probably means your wash bags are empty. If at any time there is not enough red blood cells to process a complete bowl, the machine will ask you if you wish to run your final cycle. If it is the end of the case and you wish to do so, hit the plus button to change the answer to yes and hit the green button to start. Since a full bowl of red blood cells is required to displace excess effluent, the machine will draw additional red blood cells from your collection bag to make up the difference. Once the final wash is completed, the cell saver will display your final process volume and your final red blood cell volume.